What is going on today guys, Tomcat here today, we are in spin tires for another episode of the Diesel Truck Showdown series. Now, in this episode we're going to be focusing on trails, we've got the uh, Cummins powered Ram, we've got the Chevy Duramax, and we've also got a, well, Ford is being represented by a Ford Ranger because that's all that they were willing to send, uh, no, not really actually, we brought a Power Stroke along too, and uh, the Ford Ranger is just here for uh, the purpose of comedy because the Ford Ranger would not stand up very well. This, this Ford Ranger is actually not that bad, but the Ranger in general would not stand up very well to that crowd of trucks over there. However, I wonder if it can back up this pile of lumber. It, it, wow, okay. Um, <laughs> the little Ranger just sits right up there. Alright, so I'm gonna shut the Ranger down and let it just sit right there. And uh, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to take these three trucks. We've got a um, uh, a Dodge Ram. We've got our uh, Chevy Silverado, the Cummins, and the Duramax. We've also got a Power Stroke, which is an F450. And I wanted to do all single-wheel trucks. I, I had the option of doing some dually, some not. But I didn't really have a Duramax dually, so I figured that wouldn't really be applicable. And also, since we're doing trail stuff, I figured it was better to do single-wheel rather than dually. We need to change the time of day. That, the dad, we changed it too much. Let's see. That should be good. There we go. Okay, this map is just dark. That's just kind of how this map is. It's just a darker map. Uh, maybe if we change the time just a little bit further. Yeah, it's going to look the same. Okay, so first up, since we didn't really give much love to the Ford last time uh, in our towing challenge, but we didn't even have a Ford. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the Ford out, see how it does on the trails, and then we're going to follow along in the um, in the Dodge and the Chevy. So first up, this truck has been around for a while. Uh, it's been in the game for a while. It's been a popular mod for a while. It's been actually been used throughout the game for a while. It's, it's just, it was one of the first big mods to come out and has, honestly, it's, they've, they've just kept updating it ever since. And it has been a really, really good mod. Uh, nothing's, there's literally nothing bad about this mod uh, in terms of quality. Now, trail-wise, it's got really good grip. This is going to be a hard truck to beat. Uh, all joking aside between Power Stroke, Cummins, and Duramax trucks, this is going to be a hard truck to beat just because of its, like, purely because of its setup, its grip, its power. Uh, it's just a really well sorted out vehicle, and I think it lends itself well to everything a truck needs to be able to do in spin tires. This truck can tow, it can um, it can go down the trail, it can do it can do rescues, it can do whatever you need it to do. It's a very good all round truck, and I think it's going to be like I said, a hard one to beat. So, setting off down the trail, this one kind of gives off a bit of a uh, bit of a almost an idea of how it's just like it's very planted. It's very, uh, it's very easy to drive. It's not super, uh, it's not super like floppy, like top heavy all over the place. It doesn't really want to fall over all the time, and uh, it's just very, like I said, it looks great. It really looks great. These beadlock wheels uh, on, or well, wrapped in Baja Claw tires, Mickey Thompson Baja Claw tires. Uh, like everything looks right. The F450 emblem looks right. The Power Stroke 6.7 logo looks right. They even got the 4x4 on the back there, the little vinyl. And it looks good. It doesn't really have as much flex as the Dodge does, but the Dodge is the Dodge is a lot higher up, and it's got a lot more suspension travel and bigger tires. So I feel you can't really compare this to the Dodge in that regard. But um, so far, I mean, like, even though this thing isn't as high as that truck, it's got really good climbing abilities. I mean, it just just seems to go right up stuff. The only the only place where it has a problem is when you start to get to um, start to get to areas where the front bumper kind of runs into uh, runs into whatever you're whatever you're trying to climb up which all right guys so welcome back and now honestly you join me after a uh, after the game crashed uh, the game actually did crash and I had to reload it and reopen it no big deal it just sometimes happens in spin tires spin tires is one of those games that's not a hundred percent stable with mods really no game is a hundred percent stable with mods but um, I'm actually gonna take a different route now just because of the fact that we we took the route to the left and that's a really good way to showcase kind of all-round performance all-round uh, well uh, trail performance but hill climb now hill climbs are another big part of trail focused you know trail driving and how these trucks do going up hills is definitely a big part of this test so 
if we can get through this little muddy area, we can get to the hill climb. The only problem is we have to get through here first. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Put the truck in automatic mode. And then throw it up on high and see if it'll climb. Come on, there you go. All right, high gets it a little bit of the way, but it looks like we're gonna have to try and crawl it. I don't know. Let it roll back a little bit. See how it see how it does if I let it roll back and then come back at it again. Crawl, come on. Come on. It gets to a certain point and then it gets really tough. Really tough. I'm gonna try going around the left. Or going up the left side. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Not bad. Not bad. Should be able to make it all the way without a winch. Oh yeah. There it goes. Not a problem. So it, it did a pretty good job. Oh god. I forgot that this side dropped off right after that hill that you have to turn. Uh, you have to make that right turn. And uh, it kind of creeps up on you, but... Yeah, the truck did well. Uh, grip going uphill is really good. Power's really good. Delivers it nicely, too. Next up, I want to go ahead and try the Dodge out. Because the Dodge... The Dodge, you kind of have to... Um, you kind of have to come from the point of view of... The Dodge is definitely higher up. But that doesn't mean that it's going to be... You know, that doesn't mean that, oh, it's going to be better. Um, it's going to be better at some things, but not everything. The Dodge is a little bit easier to fall over. And uh, it's also longer than the Ford. So since this is a Mega Cab configuration truck, it's longer than the Ford, and it's it's actually that means that you're gonna have to deal with you're gonna have to deal with the wheelbase a lot a lot more, and uh, it's just gonna be a different kind of truck to drive. In some ways, more difficult for the trails. So first up, this first little trail over here, we're gonna go about to where the power stroke was, and so far, grip is not an issue at all. Yeah, so far this thing just pulls right up hills. A combination of the power uh, and just the, the sheer grip of these massive Baja Claws. This has even bigger Baja Claws than the Ford, so you're going to be dealing with a lot of traction here. Like that, our bumper didn't even touch. So see, that's like, that's the crazy part, is that we can go through something like that and our bumper doesn't even touch the ground. Whereas it definitely would in the Ford. Avoid that sinkhole on the right. As long as you do that, you're all right. Let me see. Yeah, we barely, barely avoided it. But you can see now, even like even just going down the trail, how this truck likes to lean side to side, and it's not like it's not like it's a bad thing. It's just a side effect of being as lifted as this truck is. Come on, come on. There you go. Oh yeah, this thing gets it. thing gets it no problem I think it's more suited to the trails uh, than the well it's more suited to crawling than the Ford is the Ford is for normal trail stuff the Ford is great the Ford is fine I think if you when you start to run into things like rocks and uh, and big obstacles and dips and stuff like that this is what's gonna be this is what's gonna be your uh, your go-to truck only problem is it'll rip its tow mirrors off halfway down the trail <laughs> A little, ooh, that's going to be tricky. Just out of curiosity, I want to see what it'll do here. A little bit of an issue, but I'm going to work my way up around the side. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude. It literally just walked right up that. Okay, yeah, and the thing is, I know the Ford wouldn't have been able to do that. Yeah, that was really, really good. Okay, so now I'm going to rescue back to the garage, try this thing on the hill climb. Then we're going to jump into the Chevy and see how it does trails-wise. Run over this tree while we're at it, just because. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why we... we whatever, it just run the tree over. Don't even, don't even care. 
This automatic gearbox, though, the one in this truck doesn't like mud. Doesn't like it at all. And the nice thing, too, about being lifted like this truck is, or at least lifted higher than the Ford, is the fact that the Ford got into dangerous water level going through that creek. This doesn't even come close to it. Like, to dangerous water level, this thing doesn't even come close. It's also more effective going through the mud. Alright, now, hill test. Hill climb, I should say. Hill climb test. Alright, we bumped it up into high. And... Oh, oh my god. Okay, yeah, this thing just walked up the hill. Just 100% walked up the hill. So... I definitely think this one's the, the better, uh, like, trail truck. Like, for more off-road uh, capability and stuff like that. But, uh, let's park this thing here and see what the Chevy does. Because I've never driven the Chevy off-road. Like, the Chevy, I've never actually, you know, given it that much time as far as, like, off-road off -road driving goes. I've just done towing with this truck. This has been a tow rig for me. So, I think that it's going to have... Probably about the same problem that the Ford did when it comes to, like, when it comes to bumper clearance, but I know how to solve that. With these, yes. This is how you solve that, not really. I mean, this is like, we could do an episode on just that, but yeah, no. We're gonna go with the, the 33 Baja Claws, just because... Wait, the 33 Baja Claws, or the... Oh, those are Toyo Open Countries. Let's, you know what, let's do the Open Countries, because the other two trucks have had Baja Claws, and I kind of want to change it up on the tire front a little bit. So, setting off, this thing has a much better transmission than the Dodge does, which is funny because that's kind of realistic. Um, the, the Dodge would have had, like, that generation Dodge would have had a 48RE automatic, and this thing would have had an Allison, so Allison's going to be way better than a 48RE any, any day of the week, so... Hey, so far, grip is good? It's kind of bottoming out, though. It's kind of bottoming out because the Ford and the Dodge both have bigger tires. It's it's very slowly pushing itself forward, though. Let me see if it'll back up. It's really, really slowly backing up. I, I think it's really... Yeah, there we go. So, what we're going to have to do with this truck is run it around the edge. to come up around this side and then dive back in. Yeah, there we go. We're going to have to be doing that a lot with this truck, I think. Although, to be honest, it's got really good suspension travel for an independent front suspension truck. It's, you know, solid axle in the rear, but independent front, and I think it does a good job for being independent front. Uh, the other two trucks, I believe... Yeah, the other two trucks are both solid axle trucks, so... Oh, yeah, though, we're hitting our bumper big time on, it, on that dip. Although I will say, I think this feels like the most stable truck of the three. Um, and it does a good job of keeping itself, you know, keeping itself upright, keeping itself on the trail. And uh, it's, it's, it's a good truck. Like, that's, you can't get away from the fact that this is a good truck. It might not be the craziest, you know, off-road truck, but overall, it's a really good truck. Now, we have yet to do a mud test, so the mud test is going to be fun. But, uh, but this was the trail test. And uh, just to see how these things kind of um, how these things perform side by side on the trail. But so far, not too bad. It's like okay, yeah, we're getting the bumper hung up again, but that's honestly something I'm coming to expect with this truck, just because of what it is. Wow! Climbed right up the rocks a lot quicker than the Power Stroke did, actually. A lot quicker than the Power Stroke did. The Power Stroke just kind of sat there and sp spun until I changed my lineup. And this thing has, like, even worse bumper clearance than the Power Stroke, though. So, that's kind of weird. I'm surprised. I wonder if there's any way this is going to be able to climb this. I'm not sure, honestly. Like, I, this truck has surprised me so far, so... The biggest issue that we're going to have is what just happened, which is high centering. Come on. Oh, grab grip. This thing, okay, it's got the grip to do it. It's just... 
It's just, it just keeps high centering. Yeah, the grip is absolutely there, though. It's 100% there. Try one more line. See if I can make it work. Mm, that's a little iffy. I think that if I... Oh, 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 there it is. I mean, I know we kind of went around it, but we still made it up. And I know this thing's got the grip to make it up and over those rocks. It just doesn't, it just doesn't have the, it doesn't have the lift. It doesn't have the height. Holy crap, look at that. You can see the, the front drive shaft spinning right at the transfer case. If I can get a good, there, yeah, you can kind of see it if you look closely. That's really cool. But yeah, this thing actually surprised me. This thing surprised me a lot. I, I think this is a really good truck, and we're in a tree. But um, but yeah, I think this turned out to be a really good truck. Now, the uh, tests that we've got coming later on are going to be um, things like mud tests and, and stuff like that. This was more the trail test, but um, we now have one more thing to do. Rescue this back to the garage and try the hill climb. Because the hill climb, I think, is going to be like one of the main things for this truck. Let's see how this automatic does again. Oh my god, yeah, it holds fifth gear going through the mud. The Dodge would never do that. The Dodge would never do that. The Dodge would, like, would downshift three gears and then try to upshift and then downshift two more gears and then... It, the Dodge transmission freaks out. Now, first part is we've got that little flexy mud section to go through. Which is not that bad, I just, I just think it's kind of, ooh, okay. I was like, slow down a bit. Oh yeah, we're gonna be bumper plowing a lot. This thing you, I, dude, you can't be nice to this truck if you're gonna take it down here. Oh my god. Okay. Automatic mode. Let it get into second, shift it into high. Spin it up a little bit, and... Does she have the grip? She's got the wheel speed. I just don't know if it has the... Yeah, no, it doesn't have the grip. The Dodge just has crazy grip. And I'm not sure where it got all that grip from. It just... It's... The Dodge is just crazy on grip. Uh, especially grip in high. We're gonna have to take the same line that the Ford did. Not that that's a bad thing. It's just that that's the line we're gonna have to take. Which is kind of around the side, not fully, but kind of around the edge, and then cutting back in. There we go. Come on, there it is. So, they'll all make it up. Um, the Dodge definitely had more grip, uh, especially in high range, than the Chevy and the Ford did. But, um, trail-wise, I think if you're looking for one that's just for trails, or not just for trails, but does really well in the trails, the Dodge is, is probably the best one. But the other two are really, really well-rounded, and the Chevy was the most surprising, I think. So, if you guys enjoyed this episode of Spin Tires, don't forget to like, tell me in the comments below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later, and I hope you guys enjoyed.